All right, what's up? Hi, guys. My name is Sam. And today, I'm going to be talking about a very personal journey um, of happy accidents that have led me to this point in my life. And the story starts from two years ago, when I walked through the doors of Alta University School of Business as a freshman. And I am just ecstatic. Because I'm with the best. I mean, this is the best business school in the country, right? And my ambition is to pursue a career in economics, where I would amaze the academia with my new theories and help world leaders solve global conflict. But over the course of the first few months, the business school isn't exactly what I've been hoping for. There had to be something more, I thought. But how could there be something more? I mean, this was the most prestigious business school in the country, right? But I also had another problem. Economics didn't feel practical enough. Too much hanging on with the past and not enough results right now. That year, I lived very close to campus and I walked to class almost every morning. And one morning, I was walking to, to campus, and while the leaves were still turning and falling, like they are right now, I thought to myself, so Sam, the business school isn't challenging enough, so why not just try to get into something super difficult? And then, an irrational, crazy, absurd idea struck me. And that idea was to study physics. Now, for this speech, I really tried to think about what was it that led me to think that physics would be the way to go. But whether it was God or the right neurons at the right time firing my brain, the only thing that matters is that that's the moment that the opportunity of my lifetime was given to me. And that's the time that a door was opened. There was a problem, though. I hadn't studied physics even a tiny bit in high school. <laughs> and for physics, I also needed some calculus. And I also hadn't done that either. But, you know, <clears throat> I thought, fuck it. I was going to self-study in five months. Couldn't be that hard. So I went to the library. I got like 20 books of physics and math. And I was determined that I would get into the physics program at Alta University. I would become a physicist. Also, I didn't want to follow the safe and normal path of the business school. Now, when I started studying in January for physics, I still studied at the business school during the day. And I also got a job at a local science center, helping people understand more about science. And during the evenings and nights, very long nights sometimes, I dove into the world of science. And I got very passionate about this project of mine. I felt like my brain was working for the first time with full capacity. And like, I felt like Peter Parker in Spider-Man when he's bitten by the spider. And the next morning, he wakes up, and he has like these huge muscles and superpowers. Well, I didn't wake up with muscles, but still not. But um, <laughs> I definitely felt like I had superpowers. And over time, when I studied more and more, I felt like physics and math, I didn't like them just for the sake of being difficult. I'd fallen in love with them, because they were the exact thing I was looking for, something concrete, something I could build things with, something I could make a difference with. And so then, science had become kind of my purpose in life. For me, getting to the phys physics program at Alto was the holy grail. It was the thing that would define me as successful. 
And after many long nights, the day of the test came. I aced it. I told everyone about it. I was going to be in. Just wait for the results. And then like a month rolls by, and it's, uh, I think it's June. I get on my phone, I wake up in the morning, I'm like, okay, this is the first day of my new life. This is the day that I'm going to start being a physicist. And I go on my phone, get to the results page, and I didn't get in. Wait, I, I failed. Thanks to a backup plan, I landed a spot at the computer science program at Alto. Not exactly what I wanted, but it was the closest thing to what I, what I had been hoping for. So in less than six months, I had left the business school. I had uh, gotten out of a long-term long -term re relationship. I had frightened my friends and family with my life decisions. And I was not on the path I had been looking for. But because I had failed, this allowed me to try out new things. So I did. I volunteered at Slush. I learned to code. I went to my first hackathon at Junction. I got to be a main organizer for a lot of our guilds events. I got to, uh, or I became a part of the board at Alto ES. And the best thing, I made the best friends that I have ever had in my life. Well, as you can tell, I've definitely gotten side railed from my original plan of becoming a physicist. But I definitely felt happy for being so intuitive. And these impulsive and sudden decisions I've taken over a year already actually remind me of a conversation I had on Tinder with this one girl. <laughs> so she asked me, what are the three guidelines to your life? And no one has ever asked me this question before, for this conversation, right? And of course, I want to land the date, right? So, so, you know, I put some thought into it. And these are the three ones that I come up with. One, it is how we fail to become our idol that ultimately makes us unique. Our dreams will always change, and that's OK. That's just growing up. My, like my dream right now is to become the next Elon Musk, but I also know that I will miss that mark by a 1,000 miles. But it is exactly that failure to become him that will mold me into something new. Two, trust your intuition. In this day and age, we like to think that by following some set model or equation, we get to the best results. But at the end of the day, your intuition has probably already provided you with the best answer. And three, dogma is your enemy. If you want to do something new in this life or be the best you, you can't do that by following some set path. These three guidelines will be my Bible for the upcoming years of my life. And whether I'm aiming to become the next Elon Musk or Steve Jobs, as you can tell from the turtleneck, <laughs> or Einstein, <clears throat> I will always be happy that I followed my intuition on that morning walk to start studying physics, that I understood my failure and make, made the best out of it, and of course, that I fought off dogma. I didn't take the safe bet of going to the business school. So standing here, more grateful than I have ever been during my life, I hope that all of you are ready to understand your failure, two, trust your intuition, and three, fight off dogma. Thank you. See you at the after party.